Hi guys, it's Becca, and today's video is about string painting on picture frame glass. And I'm gonna be doing this with chalk paint. So these are some items that you will need. You'll need picture frames, I got these from the Dollar Tree, some chalk paint that I got from Walmart, I think they were $1.67 each. Some paint brushes or sponges, string, scissors. You also need a glue gun for later on. And some cardstock. And you can use printer paper too if you have that on hand, that's fine. So now just take everything out of your picture frame and sometimes those, those little things that hold in everything can be a little cumbersome to push up and pull out, but sometimes a scissor will help. And with a pair of pliers you can just pull them out and they come out pretty easily. So this is what it will look like. So just put your piece of glass to the side for now. And we're going to cut a piece of string as long as you want. I mean, you can make this um, as wide as you want. If you have like a long piece of glass, you know, it just it's up to you. And you can choose any colors you want. So I am choosing four chalk paint colors to paint my string, but I mean you can paint anything you want. I've seen people pour the paint into a little bowl and dip the string in that way and it does work. However, sometimes you can get blotches of paint on your project and then it just looks like a mess a little bit so I find that just painting it with the paintbrush first and then putting it on the glass and doing it it just makes it a little bit neater It's um, Waverly chalk paint, and I got it from Walmart, and it was a dollar sixty-seven, I believe. And it's good to use the little bottles of chalk paint because, especially for a project like this, because you can just pour out a little bit, and you don't have to buy like those the big bottles of chalk paint. So you can have you know many colors and make your project really pretty. Okay, so you're going to put your glass to the side for the moment and you're going to get your card stock. Or your and for this part you don't have to use um card stock to paint your string um before you put it on the glass. You can use newspaper, um old magazine, whatever. So I'm just going to be taking the colors and putting as much color on the string as I possibly can. And then, and then I'm just going to be doing sections of it in different colors. Okay, so now that you have your string all painted, you're going to get your glass. And 
and you're going to need that piece of cardstock. And you can put this anywhere you want. You know, just be creative. Wherever you want to put it on the glass is fine. I'm just trying to do this first one in the middle. And then you're going to put your cardstock and just press down firmly. And when you're ready, you're just going to pull your string. And don't let your hand up until the string is all the way out. Okay. And just carefully pull the paper up from the glass and voila, there it is. And it's also going to look really pretty on your piece of cardstock. So, I mean, you could get two pieces of art out of this if you want. Um, if you want to keep that on the paper, that's an option too. And the good thing about using the chalk paint on the glass too is that you can touch it up really easily. You can just take your finger and, you know, take some of the parts that you don't like off of it and it comes off so easily. And I just wanted to touch up the stem a little bit more because it broke my own rule and I didn't put enough paint on the end of the string. So I just wanted to do that and just touch it up a little bit. Okay, so after your first flower, I'm going to call it, is dry, and it will dry very quickly, I'm going to do another one. I'm actually going to make um, three more. So I'm just going to do this the same way as I did the others. And um, the other three that I'm going to be doing are going to be shorter, but, you know, just have fun with it and just do whatever you want. So I really love how these flowers turned out. I think they're really cool and they're really pretty. And again, you can just easily touch your glass up if you need to. So for my next one, I'm going to be using black paint, gray, and a light silver paint. And these are going to be the colors that I chose because they matched my bedroom. So I am planning on putting this in there and I think these colors will look great. And I'm just going to be applying one in the center of the glass for this. But again, you can do whatever you want and I'm sure it's going to look amazing.
so this one um, I really liked I liked all the I like the gray and the silver and the black together I think it looks really nice and I liked it on the paper as well so you can see um, at the end it kind of got um, a little weird even on the paper there it kind of got like a little messy um, so I just thought I'm going to touch up the ends and even touch up the different petals I'm gonna call them um, a little bit more so that's what I'm gonna be doing now I am so happy with the way this one turned out. I love the black, the silver, the gray, I love it. So now we're just going to be hot gluing the um, glass in your frame. And just press it down gently. So when this goes in there, you're going to be putting the smooth side towards you and your paint side is gonna be on the other end, like towards the wall. Here's the finished product and I love them. I put this one in my bedroom because the colors really matched, the gold frame looked great with all my accessories, and I just really loved this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you liked it, please subscribe, please hit the bell, and um, I will see you with another video in 2019. Bye guys.